The following mole's question is related to gas volumes and the question states that carbon disulfide vapor burns in oxygen according to the following equation. So this is carbon disulfide CS2 and it, uh, the balanced equation is given for complete combustion of carbon disulfide. And the question states that the sample of 10 cm cube carbon disulfide, so let's write that down. You have uh, 10 cm cube of carbon disulfide and it burns uh, in 50 cm cube of oxygen so it's reacting and burning with 50 cm cube of oxygen so that's 50 cm cube and after measuring the volume of gas remaining the product was treated with an excess of aqueous NaOH sodium hydroxide remember that sodium hydroxide when the products are reacted with sodium hydroxide remember that NaOH is an alkali and alkalis react with acidic gases so alkalis Alkali is going to absorb, it's going to absorb acidic gases, which in the above reaction, the acidic gases are carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is an acidic gases, is an acidic gas, and sulfur dioxide is also an acidic gas. So when the products are treated with aqueous any which uh, acidic gases are absorbed. So, and the volume of gas is measured again. All measures, measurements were made at the same temperature and pressure under such conditions that carbon disulfide was gaseous. And he's asking what were the measured volumes. And the first part is you have to figure out the measured volume, volume of gas after burning. Now, one thing that you must know is that for gases, uh, the volume ratio and mole ratio is exactly going to be the same. So, according to the reaction, one CS2, reacts with 3O2 that means 10 cm cube is only going to react with 30 which means that 10 cm cube when it reacts with uh, 30 20 cm cube would be left because you're reacting it with 50 because 10 cm cube would react with 30 cm cube so when 30 cm cube reacts 20 cm cube of oxygen would still be remaining so this is an excess and according to the ratio 1 CS2 produces 1 CO2 so 10 cm cube is going to produce exactly 10 cm cube the mole ratio and volume ratio is exactly going to be the same and similarly 1 CS2 produces 2 SO2 molecules so 10 cm cube is going to produce 20 SO2 molecules 20 cm cube of SO2 so remember for gases mole ratio and volume ratio is exactly going to be the same so 1 reacts with 3 produces 1 CO2 and 2 SO2 so 10 reacts with 30 produces 10 cm cube of CO2 20 cm cube of SO2 and since we added 50 cm cube which was in excess so only 30 reacted which means 20 is left behind so if you want to find the total volume of fox, uh, gases at the end of the reaction so you have 20 cm cube of SO2 that is produced 10 cm cube of CO2 that is produced and there's 20 cm cube of O2 that's still remaining in excess after the reaction so that's 20 plus 10 plus 20 that would give you a total of 50 cm cube so volume of gas after burning is going to be 50 cm cube and the other thing that he's asking for is the volume of gas after adding NaOH and what I said earlier was when you uh, treat the products with an excess of aqueous NaOH, NaOH is an alkali and it absorbs acidic gases. So if it absorbs acidic gases, and I've also told you which are the acidic gases, SCO2 and SO2 are acidic gases. So these gases would be absorbed by the alkali. So these gases are now gone and you're only left with the 20 cm cube of unreacted oxygen. So once you treat the products with the uh, alkali, these two gases are absorbed by the alkali and the only gas remaining at the end is going to be the 20 cm cube of unreacted oxygen. So after treating it with NaOH, you're only left with the 20 cm cube of unreacted oxygen. So the option that is going to be correct is going to be option C.